Mardi Gras is a huge celebration that takes place once a year. When some people think of Mardi Gras, they think of this. But that's actually completely wrong. What Mardi Gras is really is a ton of people who take being silly very seriously. Parties, picnics, dancing, costumes, there's something for everyone at the... Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras is French. It means Fat Tuesday. I googled it. New York has one parade for Thanksgiving. New Orleans has over 40 parades for Mardi Gras. Where are we going? You'll see. And with that much stuff going on, there's seriously something for everybody. Like music? Mermaids? Fire jugglers? Gooey cake with a baby inside? They're all at the Mardi Gras. We'll talk more about the baby cake later. It's not as gross as it sounds. Hey, wait, why are we in February and what's with all those X's? Those are all parades, all in New Orleans, all for Mardi Gras. What? Yeah. By the time the rest of us start celebrating Mardi Gras on Fat Tuesday, the good people of the NOLA have been having parties for over a month. NOLA is the cool way to say New Orleans, Louisiana. I googled it. And the magic of this holiday isn't thanks to one guy like Santa Claus. It's thanks to the Cruz. Terry Allen Cruz is an American actor and ex-football player. He is most famous for his role in many Old Spice commercials. Nah, it's K-R-E-W-E-S. A crew. A crew's kind of like a secret society of crazy people that like the same stuff. They join forces and put on parades and giant parties. Just to do it. That is crazy talk! Yeah, it is! Picture 50 groups, all with a thousand members or more, all throwing a giant costume party for the same holiday. Hey, I do not like going to the kind of party where one guy plays guitar and the rest of us have to listen to him and pretend that we care. Then go to a different party! They got block parties, parades with free treats, masked balls, the crews do all different stuff. Is one of those parties for American actor and ex-football player Terry Crews? It's actually possible, but one of those parties is definitely for Chewbacca. <laughs> Remember those different crews? One of them worships the sacred Wookiee Chewbacca and is all about spaceships and stuff. I thought Mardi Gras was all loud idiots and rich people at masquerades and stuff. No, I'm telling you, it's great. This one crew that loves Chewie gives out free frisbees and stuffed animals dressed up like robots and Yodas. What is this picture? The Holy Wookiee Temple? Nah, this is just in a hot dog place on Frenchman Street. What? Yeah, that's how they do things in New Orleans. This 18-foot wide wood coven of a six-armed Chewbacca is just in a store that sells hot dogs for the fun of it. I want to meet Wookiee and eat hot dogs. Then you better start thinking about your costume. They take their costumes pretty seriously for Mardi Gras. Well, I guess seriously is the wrong word for people that worship Chewbacca. But do not fret. If you do not have a lot of time to dress up for Mardi Gras, here are a few tips we got from a local. Mario, be the model. Yes, wait, what? Remember, these are all actual tips from a New Orleans local. Number one, okay? Wear one of those zip pouches around your waist. Strappy pouch, check. Because number two, you will probably won't be wearing any pants. Wait a minute. Says you're gonna need to move around a lot, like dance and stuff, and it's gonna be hot. It's kind of related to number three. What is number three? Show some skin. Are you making this up? No, these are for real tips we actually got. I am not going to the Mardi Gras like this. I will be arrested. Nah, don't worry. Says bike shorts or tights are good. That's number four. Number five says embracing your feminine side is good in New Orleans, so put on makeup. Number six says, huh, interesting. Beads are an actual thing. Number seven is something flashy and crazy. And number eight is a personal touch. And that's it. That doesn't seem to... To... <laughs> I'm the king of the Mardi Gras. Oh, almost forgot. We promised to tell you about the cake with the baby inside. Oh, and don't worry, viewers that worry. It is not real baby. It is toy baby. 
It's called a king cake. It's a gooey braided cake in a ring. And if you get the toy baby in your piece, you win and you get to bring the cake next year. That is the worst prize ever. One inch baby and responsibility. <laughs> <laughs>